Well, I'm very satisfied, uh, especially because the team is playing well uh, after all the problems that we had with our injuries and uh, people with uh, with COVID. But uh, you know, trying to to survive and uh, trying to play our best basketball. Uh, I think uh, personally, I'm I'm happy with uh, uh, with my performance. But uh, obviously, uh, I believe I can I can do also better job and uh, multiple aspect of my game, but um, it's not always like I'm saying about me, it's about the team. And when the team is winning, you know, everybody's happy. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good sign, you know, for for this award and uh, because uh, we are six and one for this month of December. And first of all, uh, we, we knew that uh, everybody had to step up, you know, especially young guys. Uh, uh, who were very important for us, you know, not just practicing, with also playing um, more minutes. And then we have Dante Exxon, who was also stepping up, you know, he came uh, at an important moment. La Provitola was uh, playing amazing basketball, Yakubaiti. So I, I felt like everybody felt much more responsibility, you know. Everybody knew that they're going to play some more time and uh, it's their moment. So I think it uh, was, uh, was team effort. It was really team effort. Uh, we were very humble. Uh, we knew that uh, that we had to play some team offense and uh, we had to play good defense if we want to win. And uh, little by little, game by game, we were not thinking far. We were thinking just about, okay, what is the next game? That was our uh, mentality. And the coaching staff uh, did a very good job of executing uh, uh, the games. The game plan was uh, working. So, uh, like uh, like I said, team teamwork. Well, we were very excited to to play against a uh, team who who won the Euroleague, uh, like FS did, and uh, like you said, they beat us many times in the role. So we had to do. We knew that we had to do way better job uh, and play like for 40 minutes. Uh, we started a very good game, you know, especially with our physicality, and uh, we tried to took the main guys off, uh, like Mitzis and Larkin. So we did. Uh, Solid job. I cannot say we did an amazing job. Uh, we went to overtime, but it was a really, really solid game by, by Barcelona. Everybody was uh, playing a very solid game, and uh, you know we were we were able to to win. And like uh, if you remember the game, I basically didn't play the uh, overtime because I had my fifth foul. So um, we, we won with uh, three very young guys and with Brandon Davis and Seth Stanley. So it was like. Uh, a uh, really, really important win for us. Every classical, it's uh, it's important, uh, you know. It's uh, we basically live for that moment, you know, to play big games like those. Uh, and um, uh, for us to play at home, it was excited. Uh, we knew that we're gonna have full gym. We knew the crowd is gonna support us. So uh, we had to, you know, we we felt, you know, that we had to win the game, and especially because. Uh, also, Real Madrid was playing amazing basketball. Uh, we were first together with Madrid. We, were, we had tied record, so it was our moment, to, you know, to 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 beat them and to take the first place. So, and I personally felt felt uh, amazing that day. You know, the, the shot was uh, was there. Uh, I was making some threes. Uh, I felt good with with my legs. So uh, everything was uh, working really fine, and uh, we won this game. Um, you know, uh, without also m many, many important players. I definitely gonna remember that game. Minus 20, basically fourth quarter, like uh, it was basically, the game was over. Uh, but uh, when, you, when you're in Barcelona, you kind of, you, ne you never give up. Uh, you know that uh, you have to give a, a good image to the, to the club, you have to fight until the end. And this is uh, what happened. And after that uh, little dirty moment of uh, Cannon, what he did to our crowd, uh, I think that also helped us a little bit to wake us up. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, other guys, uh, they help you, you know, they motivate you, they, they, they wake you up. So um, it, was, it was definitely one of those games that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. I probably do believe that. Uh, well, I really feel I feel very confident in myself. Uh, I feel confidence uh, shooting, you know, a lot. Uh, and I think it's, it it a lot uh, has to come with the good selection of the of the shots. You know, being calm and uh, you know also 
it has to be with your experience, you know. So, uh, yeah, I definitely feel this is uh, probably my best basketball, but I still do believe there is a lot, a lot of room to, to improve on my game. Uh, just I need to stay humble, stay humble and keep working, keep grinding, uh, because I know I can be better defensively. I know I can be better also offensively. Uh, but uh, little by little, you know, that's the, the, the key is for me to, to, to keep working, you know, don't, don't, don't stop now. Uh, so, uh, I think I'm on the on the on the good moment. I'm on the good situation, you know, where I can do my best basketball, and I just want to continue doing that. Well, uh, there there is no doubts that uh, the the preparation it's, it's it's huge for the each game and the consistency. I feel like, uh, especially in my in my situation, you know, when I when I see my career not just last year last five years you know i think the biggest struggles and everything was about the consistency every day every game you know to to be there to be present to play good basketball that doesn't mean that you have to score every day 20 points that, that's basically impossible but you know to 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 help your team to to do to know what's your need uh what's your team needs from you and uh you know i think you know taking serious uh, every game every opponent like it's it, it's it's a last game, and especially when you know that something is big coming, uh, like uh, playoffs, like uh, final four, like King Cup, like uh, weeks ago, you know, try to prepare yourself. I, I think that's uh, something something very important, and uh, you know, like I say, consistency is huge in in, in everything, uh, and I think especially now when you're in the big club and people have big expectation from you you have to be consistent. So this is something that uh, I'm trying on it and working on it. And also the team is being much more consistent this year as well. So, uh, but that also has to do with the, with your experience, with the age, you know? So I think uh, now I'm 30, I just turned, I turned 30. It's going to be 31 in a couple of months. So uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that age and that experience playing that many, that many years in Euroleague uh, helps a lot. Uh, well, I would like to start off the court, and of the court, it's uh, for everyone to be to be healthy. Uh, every a lot of people, you know, it's been struggling with this COVID, with this situation, you know, and with lockdowns. And uh, I just want, you know, everything to get back to the, to normal, you know, and people to be happy to get out and to you know to enjoy the life. Uh, so that's the most important thing, I think, uh, at the end. And on the court. Stay healthy as well. Stay healthy and enjoy playing basketball. I don't want to put any any wish. I don't want to put any pressure on myself or pressure on my team. The only thing, you know, I just want my full squad to be healthy, to be there to, to you know, to fight for the titles. You know, this is what they're waiting, uh, expecting from us to fight for the titles, and this is uh, this is the the goal. Like I said, no wish. That's that's the goal.